Welcome to Universal Man. My name is Mark Weppett and I'm here to help you sharpen your masculine edge. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you about how to master cyclical growth. If you've, had, if you've been having trouble changing in the way that you want, trying to move in straight lines, well, I'm going to teach you how to move in waves. If you learn how to master these waves, well, you're going to reach all new heights. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. So glad to have you with me again for another episode here at Universal Man. Uh, today, I'm going to be looking at a problem that uh, I see very, very regularly. I see people who are either stuck and they don't know how to get themselves started and really moving and getting some momentum, or I see people who have momentum and they just lose it. And I think a big reason why this happens, why people get stuck or, uh, you know, after maybe having some progress or never, maybe never even getting any progress uh, is because they try to move in straight lines. And I think it's appealing to try and move in straight lines to go from point A, where you are to point B, where you want to be. Um, because this is how our brain works. Our brain sees where we're at, sees where it wants, tries to build a straight line to it. Makes sense, but it doesn't work like that. Pretty much nothing, well, not nothing, but very few things in nature move in straight lines. Um, it just, that's just not the way things work. Uh, instead, in nature, things work in curves, in spirals, in waves. Uh, and that's what we have to work with here. We have to figure out how does the, the waves of our own energy, the cycles of our own energy factor in to our personal development. Because if you just continue on trying to work in straight lines, you're going to get very frustrated and disheartened when you realize that, you know, periodically things are just going to gum you up and slow you down and, uh, you know, you're not going to know how to deal with it. So we're going to be using waves and cycles here. Right? And let's get it started like this. All right. Imagine that you have a post that's stuck in the ground, like a big wooden post, and you got to pull it out. Okay. You can just try and pull it straight out in a linear manner, but it's going to be very, very difficult. It's going to be very, very stuck. So what are you going to do instead? Well, you're going to jiggle it. You're going to loosen it up first. You know, you're going to engage in, in vibration and, and vibration. It's, it's a wave, right? And so you're going to loosen it up and then it's going to pop right out. Right. And that's kind of what you have to do with your willpower. When something is stuck, you need to pulse it. Another way of thinking about it is like, imagine you've got this big, heavy wheel. All right, and this big heavy wheel, it's like, you know, real heavy, and you want to get it going, and you're going to have to pulse, pulse your strength to get some momentum, and as you get it moving, and it starts picking up speed, eventually you just need to, the, 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 the periods between having to flex, having to pulse, they get longer, all right, so let's, let's do an example, all right, imagine that you're, you're starting a new habit, like, uh, you know, quitting porn, okay, and, you know, first day you have this, you know, desire to watch porn and, you know, it's like, you're going to have to pulse your willpower and be like, no, we're not doing that. And then maybe even a few minutes later, it's going to be like, Hey, let's watch some porn. It's like, no, going to pulse it again. We're not doing that. And then maybe you have to do it like five more times a day. Cause it's really, that pattern is really stuck. You're really used to using porn and masturbating or whatever. And, uh, you're gonna have to keep pulsing that willpower, keep creating this vibration, keep moving this stuck thing. Um, but eventually, if you keep doing that, that vibration, it's eventually going to start getting bigger, bigger, bigger waves. All right. And when that happens, that's when you start having longer streaks without much effort. So it's kind of like, you know, when you maybe first start going to the gym, okay. You know, it's going to be really hard at first. Like, oh yeah, I'm going to go to the gym, pulse that willpower. Then it's like, oh, I got to get my shoes on, my gym clothes on, I got to pulse that willpower. I got to get out the door, I got to pulse that willpower. But once you get out the door, phew, kind of get a coast, you know, you're, you're pretty much there, you're going to do it. And then maybe the next day you got to start again, you got to pulse that willpower to get yourself out the door. But then you're out the door and you're fine. And then after you do this, the wave gets even bigger. And you get maybe a, you know, a, a go to the gym a week straight, without having to fight yourself too much. Or maybe you go a week or a couple weeks without porn. And you know, it's it's going pretty smoothly. And sometimes we start from this place. Sometimes we have a little burst of energy in the beginning because we're excited about this new thing. You know, there's novelty there, there's motivation, and you just just hulk out and, you know, flip that, that, uh, that, that wheel, uh, into high gear. You, you, you get that wave going, you know, real big right off the bat. Um, but whether that's the case or not, the wave will come back down guaranteed guaranteed. You will reach a point where you run out of steam and that smooth progress you're making is going to grind to a halt. 
The biggest problem is if you fool yourself into thinking that you finally arrived, that you've gotten it all figured out, that you're done, that you know this thing has been internalized and perfected or whatever, is that you're going to be filled with bitterness and resentment. And that bitterness and resentment, it takes that dip and turns it straight up into you know a valley, into a uh, you know canyon even, uh, because you got attached to your progress, uh, thought you were done, and now you're all bitter and sad and upset and down on yourself because, uh, you know, turns out you weren't perfect. Turns out, you know, after getting, losing those five pounds, you fell right off the wagon or, you know, you, you got that nice porn free streak and all of a sudden, you know, you're, you're back to using it again. And if you wallow at the bottom, then you're just going to be either moving backwards or starting from the exact same place that you were to begin with. And this can make you feel like you're just going in a stupid circle, not getting anywhere. The key to overcoming this is learning how to embrace cyclical growth. And cyclical growth, the way it works is that like, all right, you acknowledge from the beginning that the best thing you can do is create an arc. And that arc is going to come back down. But the goal is to make sure that when you come back down, you do not come back down as far as you were when you started. So a perfect example would be like a weightlifter and a periodization program. So the way that works is that a weightlifter, they start off, you know, a cycle of maybe six weeks. You know, that's how they, they aim their cycle to be about six weeks. And they, you know, gradually through those weeks, the, the weights that they lift get heavier and heavier. Okay, and their body can adapt, you know, it can move like that for for about six weeks or so, um, you know, different periods, doesn't really matter for the example, but they, they bring their weights up, they bring their weights up, they bring their weights up. And then eventually, they bring their weights back down, because if they kept trying to go straight up, what was going to happen is that they're going to blow their body out, and they're going to, uh, you know, fail or actually start getting weaker through overtraining. So what they do is they voluntarily kind of peel back, and they start their cycle again, and work up again. But they start a little higher than they started last time and they end a little higher than they ended last time. So they move up in leaps like this. Okay. And this same thing happens with pretty much everything else. So, you know, with reboot, it's like, you're going to start a loop every, every single streak you start, that's a new loop. All right. And your goal is to make sure that when you start the next loop, you start it stronger than you did the last one. So if you got a streak going and then you you relapse, all right, what you have to do is you have to learn from that relapse. And when you learn from that relapse, well, you start from a stronger position and you're going to get a little bit farther until you run into another mistake or another obstacle, another something that you need to shift in yourself. And then you do it and then you start a little stronger. And so when you acknowledge that that's the way it's going to work, it's much easier to wrap your head around uh, the inevitable setbacks and challenges that you run into. This also holds true with any sort of creative endeavor. I mean, like, uh, you know, imagine that you are writing a book, right? The first draft is going to be crap. You know, that's your, your first cycle. And you're going to start the next cycle knowing, all right, well, <laughs> I had this first draft and it wasn't good. And but now I know what's not good. And so I can start my next draft with uh, the knowledge of what's not good. And then, you know, maybe in the second draft, I even find something that actually is good and the rest is crap. So it's like you, you're going to gradually grow boom, up a level, up a level, up a level. And this is the way that you make sustainable growth. This is the way that you keep going. And in order to do it, you just have to make sure that you don't completely bottom out. You got to maintain some tension on that downswing so that you start right back up. The biggest thing you have to avoid is avoid that bitterness and resentment that causes you to completely bottom out and regress because you can you can go downward too. You can definitely devolve. You can take you can take cycles downward and that's what people do a lot. Imagine something like they have a big setback in their life and they let another little thing fall off and they let another little thing fall off and before they know it they're like down in the gutter. And you really want to avoid that, obviously. So make sure you take the elevator up. You know, well, I guess not really an elevator. It's more like a spiral staircase. If you do this and you embrace this process and you have the patience to see it through, what you're going to find is that old peaks become new baselines. All right. And, and that's that's an amazing thing. You know, like a bad day at work for me, where uh, in terms of productivity, that used to be my very best day. You know, I warm up with weights in the gym now that I used to not even be able to, to lift. So it's like 
<laughs> if you take this process seriously and, and you don't try and take shortcuts with straight lines um, and be pissed off when they don't work out, you're going to be able to make tremendous, tremendous progress in life. So that's it. I hope you guys found this useful. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Stay sharp and I'll see you in the next one.